Hi and welcome to Positive Abundance Manifestation. Normally I'm at home doing these videos but today I'm taking you to my one of my walks. Uh, it's the Kingswood uh, Forest in Buckinghamshire in the United Kingdom and what I do with my walks it helps me calm, it helps me relax, uh, stress and uh, this walk that I'm going on today takes about an hour to an hour and a half so I'm not going to put the video out all in one chunk. So I'm going to break it up for you over the next few weeks. But um, I'll have to be watching where I'm going as well because there's lots of uh, stumps on the paths and things like that. But today we're going to just be talking about how positive mindset uh, works. But before we start, I ask that you make a comment Tell me what you want to hear me talk about, anything in relation to positive mindset, positive behaviour management, positive parenting, positive classroom management, anything like that. Tell me how you'd like my videos and don't forget to subscribe, like and share them if you do like them. How I use it and I thought this would be really good because uh, I've not had such a good week myself in terms of mindset. and. I thought that I would just talk you through how I've gone about using my positive mindset to bring me back. Um, there is some personal information I'm going to, to tell you. I mean, I've talked about uh, abuse before in my life and how that's affected me. But I actually have post-traumatic stress disorder because of it. And when I come up against someone that might be a little controlling, or uh, a little disrespectful, a lot of those feelings, uh, negative feelings, come back, flowing back, and it puts me in a bit of a low. So I have to use all the positive mindset uh, strategies that I teach you guys uh, to help me get through that. One of them is going on a walk, so I thought this was great for you and for me, uh, but also it's about turning those negative spots uh, negative comments or thoughts into positive thoughts now just remember this is unedited so i haven't got a script so <laughs> i apologize for any uh, little butts and uh ahs like that so but we'll go straight into it uh, i'll turn it around so you're just not looking at me all the time but uh, the the key thing this week was about doing things that uplift you, that you want to do. And that's the key message for myself. Because uh, when, you're, when you're a YouTuber, people know that it can be, if you're doing all the editing and everything on your own, it can be a little uh, laboursome, a little bit uh, boring at times. I don't mind this. It's like when I taught. I love teaching kids and I really enjoyed it being in the classroom, interacting with the children, helping them learn and seeing their successes. But all the planning and, and that that goes behind it can be quite tedious and boring. Marking, uh, and if there are any teachers out there watching this, you know exactly how I feel. But um, yeah, so it's, it's good to make sure that you're doing what you want to do. It's really, really important that you feel good about yourself, feel good about what you're doing. Uh, I love my YouTube channel in terms of it's exactly what I want to do. I've had to adapt into things that maybe that you want to watch more. Um, but hopefully as we grow, I'll get to put more of my content in, especially in regards to positive parenting and, and things like that. Actually, just remember, I want to start going live. Our, our subscriber list is, has, has improved. Um, so if, if you want to put in the comments what sort of topics you'd like me to talk about, I just thought I'd do one weekly live where we can talk about the things that maybe I put out on the video in the week before or what's coming up or just answer your questions, general Q&A. The other thing I want to talk about the YouTube channel, I'm not monetized. So um, YouTube have the right, which is quite <laughs> unfortunate, all my hard work, they have the right to advertise on videos that they think 
uh, might be good for them and even though it's my hard work that's gone into it so if you do watch any of my sleep meditations i apologize for any adverts in the middle of it which takes away from the actual reason i do the videos to help people get to sleep or to relax uh, and having these ads come up all the time i, I watch one of mine I, I often have them play in the background while i'm working just to keep me nice and relaxed and uh yeah, within an hour well, there was three advert breaks so they're obviously getting a lot of money from my work without paying me anything so get the, the subscribers going put in work in the comments it'd be really good for for us so i can do more videos more content but uh, that's it in terms of introduction so what i wanted to talk about i mean this 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 walk reminds me of what it's like it's putting the hard work in getting to where you want to get to is a journey uh, and this is a journey uh, one of my favorite spots in this uh, woods actually it's the king's wood woods uh, but uh, is the end where we're, we're going to be ending up it's just a nice seat watching over on a high hill watching over the high wick Wickham where I come from where the woods are and it's uh it's just a nice view so just remember this this whole point of this these videos is it's a journey okay so I'm going to turn you on to what I'm seeing so you get rather than see me all the time so this is where we are at beautiful beautiful website uh, website a beautiful woods environment uh, it is lovely to walk in so listening to my voice and and seeing the beautiful woods so hopefully it can be quite relaxing and my voice isn't too irritating uh, we might even get to see some squirrels or foxes and things like that but uh, anyway so walking is one of the things i do to help calm calm myself help me uh, to get my mind back back in the game kind of thing it i, I do all my reflections uh, i plan what i'm going to do uh, it's it's quite excellent to be honest i really really benefit i mean when i was teaching uh, i used to teach in a school that has its uh, backs on to this woods so every lunch I used to go for about a 20 minute walk in the woods to to uh, uh, de-stress teaching can be quite quite stressful but when you're dealing with the problems I was outside in, in my personal life as well uh, it was a really beneficial time uh, but um, so walking can calm you down green is an excellent color I do I'm into color therapy so some days I'll wear green if uh, uh, I'm wanting to heal a little bit it's a nice color for healing I mean I'm wearing blue today because I'm doing a lot of talking so I want to help uh, help you guys out but um, what, it, what it can also do it gives you exercise helps with your breathing which breathing is really really important and I've said it in my other videos, I've got some uh, positive mindset videos. So you're going to have to excuse me, it's, it's obviously rained in the last few days, so there's going to be some muddy bits which I'm going to have to get around because I haven't got my muddy shoes on. But uh, generally the paths are quite good if you stick to the main path. Sending you healing and positive thoughts, love and light to you all.